Witam wszystkich bardzo serdecznie. I'm Mystical, and today I have a video that I've been waiting for quite some time to record for you. As a brand new application has appeared on Quest that will make it so much easier, just miles easier, to install unofficial, uncertified applications on your Quest, also known as just standard Android APK files. And the best part about this method, you no longer need developer mode. Well, no longer. There were methods before this that bypassed developer mode, but this certainly makes it quite a bit easier. So without any further ado, you have chapters down below to skip to any specific part of this video that you might be most interested in. With that being said, let's get right into it. A brand new application has been released on the MetaQuest Horizon Store called VR File Manager by Anagan78. He's actually a pretty well-known developer in the VR scene, creating things like the Quest Games Optimizer that allows you to optimize your games, change performance levels, etc. without having to use a computer. Well now, Anagan has released a brand new app on the MetaQuest Horizon Store. Well, calling it an app might actually not be be entirely fair to it, as apparently all it does is launch the built-in Android file manager on Quest, and in that file manager you can bypass any restrictions set by Meta and install uncertified APKs. So chances are Meta isn't going to like this very much, and I'm not entirely certain how long this application is going to stay on the Horizon Store. So in case you haven't downloaded it yet, Make sure to download it and get yourself an alternative file manager, like a maze, for example, installed on your Quest. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into how you can set this up for yourself and start downloading third-party apps without developer mode. So, uh, yeah, this is obviously going to allow you to install things such as QuestCraft and SideQuest directly on your Quest without needing a computer or enabling developer mode. As you can see here, we are currently inside the main Horizon home. All we need to do is launch the store and search for VR Android File Manager. And then in here, we press Get, and that is supposedly going to be it. That is really... Um, <laughs> the easiest modding tutorial we have ever had. So what I want to do now is I want to show you guys how to get SideQuest installed using the VR Android file manager. So if we press start here, yeah, that is uh, that is correct. Actually, all it seems to do is launch the Android file manager. So if we jump into the web browser and we type in SideQuest, APK. SideQuest in their app is actually open source on GitHub, meaning all we need to do is jump into the releases right here, VR Lite. And as you can see here, we've got the releases. We want to press on app release APK, and this will download the APK onto our quest. And then all we do is we launch the VR file manager and we find the APK, app release, here we go, side quest, do you want, it'll ask you if you want to install, it's asking me if I want to update, so I'm just gonna press update, and as you can see here, side quest is just going to install itself onto my quest without needing a PC, without needing to enable developer mode, anything like that, and as a matter of fact, if we go to the quest, we go to headset settings, developer mode, and we turn it off, developer mode is now off. Okay, now let me show you, getting Questcraft is as simple as going to unknown sources and then jumping into SideQuest and, you know, installing it through SideQuest. So that is really, really simple. But in case you do want to get QuestCraft, you just launch SideQuest and press sideload now. It's actually that simple. What I do want to show you now is how to get applications that don't necessarily appear inside SideQuest or something that is, you know, entirely unofficial. Now, what I would recommend you do is get yourself an alternative store. Uh, what I used to have on my quest, for example, is Aptoid. Here it is, Aptoid is actually still here. And through Aptoid, I can download any Android application that would normally be inside the Play Store. Now, some applications do require Google Play services, and some applications uh, may just be spam. So do use Aptoid at your own risk, of course, and do not download anything sketchy. Please do not. The only reason I got it is because yes, of course, you can get APKs off of known sources like APK Mirror and just download them through the browser and install them through the file manager like we previously did. But I just find this to be a whole ton easier. Let's say I want to get something like a Maze File Manager. And a Maze File Manager is open source, so you can, of course, get it off of GitHub. But here I can also just update it by pressing 
pressing one button. Now, this isn't an ad for Aptoid. And again, as I said, you are able to find spam on here. So do be careful what you actually get through this app. But definitely what I would recommend you do more is go to your apps, go to all, go to your browser and launch a known website, like for example, APK Mirror. So let's say you want Spotify on your device. You can download Spotify by just typing in Spotify APK. Now the issue with a lot of these APKs I have found is they no longer come in APK form. Uh, a lot of them are going to be APK packages that you need an alternative app in order to install those packages. So that's why I also tend to not use APK Mirror as much anymore. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. ARM64 is the one we want. And you can see here it's an APK bundle. So if it's an APK bundle, you're going to need another app to install it. You can't just install an APK bundle by pressing on it. In that case, I would go on to something like APK Pure, check if these guys have a version that isn't an APK bundle. Let's see. So we close this. We can launch our VR file manager, Spotify, and boom, turns out that was not an XAPK. So we can install Spotify just like this. It will appear under unknown sources and you can launch it like you would any other 2D application. Meaning it will play music in the background, which is awesome. And you can have it pinned in the background, meaning you can play music while playing games. Now you could already do this, but you know, having an application for it is definitely a lot nicer than going through the web browser and using the web app. Aptoid has stopped. Thank you, thank you Aptoid. And Spotify has been installed and as you can see, I can launch it just like this. As I mentioned earlier, we do not really know how long this file manager will be up on here for. So something I would highly recommend you download before Meta does block this application is a file manager. Now, I always tend to recommend a maze, which we downloaded through Aptoid earlier, but again, in case you don't feel comfortable, you can just type in a maze and because it is open source, all you do to download that is scroll down, find it on GitHub right here, scroll down again, go to releases, and in releases, you're going to want to press this APK. And as you can see, you can also get it on Aftroid, which is another third party app store that you can get installed. And as a matter of fact, I also have that under my unknown sources, as you can see here, but you don't need to, you absolutely do not need to. As long as you get yourself some form of a file manager, which as you can see here, I'm going to update a maze right now, you should be safe for the future when Meta does kill this app if they do. And as you can see here, we've got an alternative file manager, which uh, honestly, I think looks a lot nicer anyway. And you can see even the icons of all the applications that you have downloaded here. And if you want to install something, you just press on it here and press install. So that is how simple that is. We had another method of doing this, which Meta took down, um, I won't say rather quickly, but they did get rid of it. They did ask the developer to remove that functionality from their application. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to ask Anagan to remove this functionality from the app, because it is quite literally just launching an activity, probably just delete the entire app. We will see. Hopefully Meta does not get rid of this and this stays forever. There you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really happy to be able to bring something like this to you. I never thought it was going to be this simple. If you like this one, please leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this one works too, but let me know why down below. If you're not yet part of our community, check out our Discord and our Reddit down below where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. And thank you so, so much to all the patrons supporting this channel. You guys are amazing. Seriously, much love. Thank you so much for your support. You are what makes all of this possible. And as usual, if you want to be in the future content, come on up to the channel, make sure to subscribe with your favorite, and my bell and see you in the next video. Peace.